Good afternoon. This is a July afternoon in Stanton, Virginia at our home where my studio also is. And I'm taking a break from painting my new wine piece. I just came up with a title for it uh, this week. It hadn't been titled before that, but um, we live in an area where there's quite a few vineyards and it's obviously a um, popular theme. So um, we did research around and went to different vineyards. Um, there's probably four or five within 15 miles of us uh, where we are. And I think Thomas Jefferson is the one who began the, uh, the planting of the vineyards in Virginia uh, during his lifetime. So it uh, traces its history back to that and it was interesting to learn about it and to uh, learn about the different varieties of wine. I didn't have very much um, of a deep understanding about wine before the painting, but um, it was interesting to learn about that. And I um, have several friends that uh, also helped with developing the idea. We bounced ideas off of them. Some of them also have a culinary background. So this, this piece is kind of a complement to In Good Taste, which is a piece that I did a few years back and has uh, been very popular. So um, it's nice from that aspect too. And um, so uh, my wife Susan also helped quite a bit with the layout of this piece. And I have trouble with color, um, as many of you uh, probably know. And so she helped with that and um, composition a little bit. And it probably took about four weeks to come up with exactly what I was going to paint and um, I don't do any kind of preliminary uh, sketches at all. I just go to work right on the 24 by 48 inch um, panel that I paint on. It's a wood panel that I actually um, gesso and sand very, very smooth and I spend two or three weeks getting a real detailed um, sketch of what I'm going to do and just um, start painting from there. So um, that was um, that was probably in April or May. Probably started painting in May, and um, I think I probably have probably two months left to go on the piece. And uh, interestingly, it'll probably correspond with when our baby girl <laughs> gets here. Um, probably uh, towards the end of September. I think she's due on October third. So we're gonna have a very interesting fall. We're looking forward to it quite a bit. 